hunting, no pressure from opponents. But all that anxiety can be present in the brain when you visualize. When a player's visualizing really well, they'll feel what they feel in the physical situation. So if I'm rehearsing taking penalty kicks, yeah, I presume I'm going to be somewhat nervous. I presume I'm going to feel a little bit of pressure. Yeah, that's what I'll feel. And that's what I want them to feel. So if you're going to be scared in that situation, be scared in your image and overcome it. If you're going to be aggressive in that situation, be aggressive in your image, but overcome it. Because that'll make it more vivid, more realistic, and more likely to have the performance outcome that you want. Simply by visualizing, a player can mentally train himself to conquer his fear of failure. Visualization could be the final step in getting all 11 players to shed their fear of failure. It can transport them into what's called the zone, the ultimate mental state for any player. The zone is typified by low levels of thought, low levels of effort, almost a letting go. When a player is in the zone, time will fly, effort will be low, really the only thoughts they're having are thoughts of, of pleasure. It's almost like the other players are moving in slow motion. It's easy to make decisions. You know what people are going to do. It's now clear that in the final qualifying game against Greece, David Beckham was in the zone. All the elements of the Ericsson Rilo psychology came together at one moment. Beckham had no fear of failure. And for the sake of the entire team, he dared to lose, to win. I think what he probably felt as he was putting the ball down is, I can't miss again, I never miss, I'm sure this one will come off. And certainly, he must have been pretty confident, the way he brushed Teddy Sheringham aside and said, well, I'm, no, don't worry, this one will come off. Beckham slipped into his practiced free kick routine automatic thought process took over. This was the body language of a man that believed he was going to score, certainly thought he was going to score, and didn't have previous failures in his mind. I mean, this is the kind of character you want um, on your side. He'd mentally rehearsed the entire sequence of events in his mind. Even before he kicked the ball, he knew the result. For England to shine in the World Cup finals, each member of the squad will have to launch themselves into the zone. The Ericsson Rilo psychology has equipped the England team with the mental tools they need to get there. They've never been better psychologically prepared. The coach now believes that winning the World Cup is perfectly feasible. You must be, try to be as much prepared as possible. You have to set the aims, the targets. Should be high targets, but not uh, impossible to reach. If the England team is able to mobilize all their mental collective power, supporting each other when winning and losing, there might be a possibility for England to do a very good cup. The psychologists have done their job. Now it's all up to the England patient. A nation holds its breath.